Well, honestly, I was hoping for a better opening than this. But alas, traffic is uh, all I can afford you guys today. So today's a very special day for me. I'm taking a test. Um, it's a pretty important test in my opinion. For me anyway, it's a choice. It's not a necessity. So uh, finally heading into the city uh, for the first time in forever, at least uh, on business. Uh, we're gonna go all the way to Javis Center. It's like a, a big, uh, big place over in the city where lots of different things happening. Like I think uh, car shows happen there too. So uh, heading over there. Um, I was sort of hoping for less traffic than this. It is not rush hour. It's like uh, 11 o'clock, and uh, it seems like there's way too much, too much people over here for some reason. Uh, and it's an odd day too it's not like a friday it's not a saturday it's not a sunday it's a week not a weekend and yet people are still pouring into the city oh look at the city what a beautiful gorgeous view a little hazy a little foggy just like a normal urban city should look like <laughs> um an hov lane trying to avoid all this traffic um haven't recorded in a few days but, uh, you know, last time I did a recording was, uh, I think, a Daisy Overview. A little ride that I took, and then Daisy, oh, hello, friend. Choo-choo. I don't know why I did the choo-choo, but, uh, okay, whatever. So, yeah, we're going to head into Manhattan. Uh, I think we're going to take the tunnel. You know, I haven't seen much people post uh, tunnel rides. Uh, Street Resurgent posted a tunnel ride recently through mountains, but not underwater. Not underwater. So, my uh, GPS is telling me that everything from here on out is red, which means traffic galore. HOV lane is usually fast and usually free of traffic because, you know, it's HOV lane. But I've been uh, stuck in HOV lanes before. Uh, my greatest fear is that uh, I'm gonna... Somebody got crashed in an HOV lane and block it completely so I won't be able to sneak around them. And as you know, a lot of HOV lanes, at least here on this road, on a, well, I guess you can call this like a BQE ish road. This is not BQE right now, but it's gonna merge into BQE. And that road, uh, the HOV lane is barriered off, which means there's a hard concrete barrier between normal lanes and HOV lanes. You know, look at that. He's like, no, I need to change my mind. I need to go to to Queens now, to Queens, but they are the, the wrong way to Queens, you know? I need to get the Bell Parkway instead of going to where I was going because I want to skip all the traffic and then break double white line and, and be an asshole. Pardon my French. Oh, these guys too. Look at these geniuses. Get in your lane, bro. Look at this. Look at all these geniuses. They're all the same. They're all the same. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> okay. See, now it's free. When people are not being dummies, the road becomes way more freer. Again, creating traffic conditions. Not bueno. Not good. Today is a scorching hot day. My butt is on fire because my seat was uncovered this whole time and it heated up immensely. That's the thing about leather. Leather is great, it feels nice on your butt, it looks cool, it's a status symbol because who doesn't love leather? But that thing retains so much heat that it just doesn't dissipate. So my body heat, plus the heat of the atmospheric pressure, uh, atmosphere, plus the heat that the leather connected all together create a very simmering, very hot uh, experience. Um, uh, I was considering getting like a sheepskin. Oh, West crack. I was considering getting a sheepskin, much like a uh, shape research, and I was looking into that as well. I just haven't really went to Home Depot or, or Lowe's or anywhere to just uh, see if I, can grab, if I can grab some. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen sheepskin in my local uh, Home Depot. And I spend a lot of time in my local Home Depot. I buy parts there all the time, paint. It's my favorite place to go for paint, for Bondo. You know, uh, 
with 3D printing, you need all those little materials to finish your 3D print and then paint it and whatnot. So I usually go to Home Depot to pick all that stuff. But I haven't seen a sheepskin there yet, so I will probably have to order it. You know? It's, it's a beautiful day for a ride. Uh, I, uh, not too long ago, I was heading into work and the day was just as beautiful. All the night was just as beautiful. And I was thinking to myself, what if I just don't go to work and I just just ride? Just just pick a road and just go straight and just relax and not have to deal with all the unwanted, unnecessary stresses of work. You know? But then I remembered responsibilities and I'm an adult and yada yada yada. So, guess not. Guess not. Oof. Open road, skipping all the traffic. For now, life is good. Uh, coming up is going to be like a four hour exam that I'm not too sure I'm ready for. I've been studying for for the past month and uh, I'm not the greatest studier when I'm out of school. In school, I was great. You know, when you sit me down and you make me listen and uh, I pay attention, it's great. I retain information really well, but studying on my own is just, uh, I just, I'm very lazy. <laughs> I'm very lazy when it comes to things that I don't really want to do and studying is something I don't really want to do. And uh, unfortunately, there was no way around this thing. This thing has to be studied because information in it is not something that I use. Uh, well, mostly don't use in everyday work, so. Oh no, it seems like HOV lane is ending up ahead. Why? Why are you. Why? Why Max, you make my life so much harder? What is not necessary. Just uh, let me ride with my HOV lane, bro. Uh, I wasn't meant to be guys, so we're gonna be either lane splitting or we're gonna be stuck in this traffic and uh, I think we're gonna be stuck in this traffic for good You know Yeah, look at that way to close HOV lane. Come on. They should have kept it up until 12 That was my hope HOV lane until 12 I think there's going to be this entire portion of the road is going to be all red. Even though we're moving somewhat with a decent speed right now, it's going to come to a stop once we hit an exit that's coming up. I guess exit 23 or whatever that exit is. And uh, much like anything else in the city, you got to find parking. So we're probably going to finagle some sort of parking and then see if uh, somebody will be nice to us and not give us uh, a ticket. But uh, chances are, uh, I'm not that lucky. I'm usually extremely lucky, but uh, I don't feel luck on my side to, man, pick a lane. I don't feel luck on my side today at all. I've been, I've been having this dreadful feeling for a long time, uh, you know. Not a good day. But I'm not, I'm, I'm hoping for the best. Again, I'm hoping for the best. I mean, I, I did put in work into studying I, uh, I i am trying to pass it but the density of the material is like ooh, it's a dense boy like uh, i'm not i'm not a silly fella i'm relatively smart but uh, i don't know i'm pretty sure there are smarter people out there so <laughs> it's okay you know there's always a test coming up there's always another one it's gonna be different this Mazda really likes to go all over the road. I'm picking the lanes, you know. There we go. We passed that exit. Now we're gonna be towards on a big merge. Oh, New York City. You know, something rhymes with city that starts with the shitty. Oh, said it. now hello eyes was not paying attention at all I'm right next to her I was not paying any attention at all uh, what do you think motor madness nah I wasn't too much of a freak out 
That was very nice to her too. I should have flipped her off, right? Camera. Please get off your phone. Man, that's a that's an expensive ticket too. And points. And look, it's still still on the phone. Still on the phone. Let's see how long this person can be on the phone with his modern car that he can hook up to his phone. I right know. And still, still talking on the phone. I don't know if you guys can make it out because uh, I definitely can. Oh, he's off the phone now. Oh, no, he's still on the phone. Still texting. Ridiculous. And he has a passenger. Hold the passenger phone. Passenger, hold the phone. Uh, has to go on Instagram. You know? That's the only option, you know? You. There you go. Sorry for the cursing. But it's really frustrating. And when uh, you you drive and you text at the same time with potential of causing bodily harm to people around you when you're not paying attention this when you lane split that your full attention is on the on the lane split itself like you're fully dedicated to because one you don't want to get hurt when you lane split two you don't want to hurt your bike and three you don't want to hurt the other vehicles on the road because let's be honest the worst thing that can happen to these guys is they get scratches and the window's gonna get flipped and the other side will slide around. Me? I'm gonna end up under their wheels. It's not worth. You know, I think we're gonna take this lane. And after this lane, we're gonna try to lane split back into our original lane. I think it wants us to go straight. I think it I think it will take the tunnel though. Not sure. Let's see. Can we make it here? Yes, we can. This guy is trying to get in that lane. We're gonna go in between these two guys. We're gonna go over here. Uh, a BMW, right? No, it's a Volvo. Get in your lane, buddy. Get in your lane. Genius. He also has his plaque covered by that uh, bike rack. Not legal, by the way. Not legal. I know people always say that, hey, they sell this bike rack, so they must be legal, but nope, they're actually not. We're definitely gonna go into the city through the tunnel. I'm not, I'm not taking the other road. It seems to be a bit too crowded. And it's not helping that I can't really see anything through my phone because of the sun glare. That's why I can't wait to install my GPS module. The screen is not much brighter, but the way I'm going to position it with a visor is going to cover this, uh, cover everything in shade, so I'll be able to see the direction of where I'm going. But so far, it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to take us through this through the tunnel, and if not, it'll it'll, it'll guide us otherwise. This Acura just needs to move just a little bit so I can squeeze by it. But it's like square in the middle of the lane. And this... Uh, it's doable, but he's moving. This lane is moving. There's no reason to lane split. I know a lot of my uh, vlogs end up with me being discussing the road conditions and uh, steps to take to avoid these road conditions to make your life easier on the road. But I think that's a caveat of driving, of riding in the city as opposed to riding in like an open state where there's not too much traffic and there's much more things to do and travel too. What do we have here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're definitely going under the tunnel. Yeah! I love taking the tunnel when it's not crowded. When it's crowded, just stop and go and all you see is you, your re reverberation of your engine. I mean, it's not the worst thing to listen to, but it gets annoying. Oh, get some air. Ooh. Ah, yes. This is not the tunnel where the movie with, uh, with uh, Sylvester Stallone took place. 
there's the other tunnel that leads into Jersey, and that's the tunnel where this movie takes place. Uh, I think we need to go on this lane, but we'll figure that out after the tunnel. Yes, one might say just just go bobbing between these things, but there's a big Mack truck right behind me. And, uh, you know, he's going to squish me, or I'm going to hit one of these poles and hurt myself or hurt the bike. I don't think I'll fall off, but... Hmm. Ah, yes. Enjoy the sounds of the reverberation of everybody's engines in this tunnel. You know, if you're claustrophobic, do not take the tunnel. Just take the multi-tunnel bridge. I think there's a three bridges across from Brooklyn to, uh, to Manhattan. And, you know, I also think we're like ahead of schedule, which is perfect. And we just lost uh, the connection to the uh, internet because we're so deep underground. They didn't start like Wi-Fi wi -Fi here, so Wi-Fi should like tell you. Uh, still connect your phone to the Wi-Fi automatically to help you with navigation, messages, GPS, radio, like FM and AM, barely work down here. Only on the address. I think they installed some receivers there, but uh, not uh, in the middle. In the middle, you will get the... <laughs> My GPS is still working, so I assume they did install uh, Wi-Fi uh, to the outside world inside these tunnels. Um, it's a fun ride. I like taking it on a bike when it's like this more than in the car. Uh, my car, um, <clears throat> let's just say the AC is no longer operational. Uh, so I can't really use AC in the car. When you're stuck in traffic down here, the air gets very stale. On the bike, it's even worse when there's traffic because the fumes from all the cars around you choke you out. Like right now, I've been riding, I still get the fumes in my face and I get that pre-gag reflex, I guess you can call it, or gag reflex. I don't know how, what it is exactly, but I get that lack of oxygen and I get choked up, especially when you talk a lot and it's a vlog, so I got, oh, look at that. That's also not quite legal. Uh, you know, you can't have advertisement covering your uh, rear windshield. You'll hear me say a lot of these different things about different rule breakers. It's just ingrained in me. I like pointing out what people do wrong while not pointing out what I do wrong is do as I say, not as I do, I guess. But hey, if you catch me doing something wrong, point it out. I mean, I sometimes point myself out. Let's, let's be honest, all in splitting is wrong, at least in this state. But if I'm gonna choose between save my safety and potential of getting a ticket. Hello, state police. I will always take my safety over everything else. That's that's definitely a number, my number one priority. Look at that. I made it through the bridge without an incident. You know, I didn't get choked out by the fumes. Let's see if we can sneak in here. Uh, somewhat sneakable. If that car didn't pull out, it definitely would have been a successful sneak. Oh, look, he's not. He's parking. Okay, that's that's interesting, but... Uh, this guy's double parking, so let him double park. <sighs> we're 18 minutes away. That means we're going to be about 40 minutes early. Enough time to find legal parking, I guess, and uh, do some review of the materials and keep this episode short and sweet, right? Short and sweet. But yeah, welcome to Manhattan. Uh, haven't ridden through Manhattan in a while. At least not, not on camera. Look at this, another person who's just not paying attention to the road. It's just, just wonderful. People are just wonderful. Like I said, New Yorkers and people in the Tri-State area are just the best at driving and the best at paying attention, you know. It definitely, uh, most of the accident are caused here by pedestrians, not vehicles, duh. These guys are never in a rush. Oh, but there is, the one thing that's wrong is that the air is standing still, so there's no breeze. So when you come to like a, a halt like this, the air really does get to you. 
that's where you need to go and open up the visor and you know hope something hits you in the face yellow taxi hello police I did not check which precinct these guys were from I'm not really familiar with the precincts in the city the city is a foreign a foreign land to me uh, it doesn't look there's gonna be much traffic up ahead but I feel there's gonna be another red spot somewhere up ahead I've actually used I used to ride a lot into here because I used to pick up my mom from her work. You know, my mom doesn't drive a car. She has a license, but she doesn't drive a car. Um, she has a issue with one of her eyes because of a stroke she had uh, a while ago. So her depth percep perception is really off kilter. So I, I used to drive her home and whatnot. I really don't like her taking the subway with the subway situation in the city. It's, it's just uh, ridiculous with the amount of people pushing innocence unrelated to them people onto tracks just because they're crazy it is absurd and uh, I just oh hello state police wow you guys are far away from the tunnel what's going on it's like four blocks with the boys what did you catch you know what oh uh, I don't have time for this we're gonna go around these guys. Yay! Oh, a tour bus. Another tour bus. You know, never once have I gone on these tour buses, like to tour the city, not once. And I kind of wanted to, but my pride as a New Yorker, I guess in the way of that, so I really don't do that because of that pride is like, I live here, it's my home turf. I don't need nobody to tell me to drive me around the town. Look at that. That's so cool. You're so high up. Oh, hello, random hand. I would just sit down here. Just go up. Jeez. <sighs> the real great view of this city is from Jersey side. There's a park in Jersey that uh, I, can, I might take you guys. Where you can see a Statue of Liberty. You can see like Governor's Island. There's a really cool community there with a bunch of boats. And... A really great uh, panoramic view of actual Manhattan. Uh, not the other side of Manhattan, not the Hell's Kitchen Manhattan, but like the fancy Manhattan. Pretty much this side of Manhattan. <laughs> Switch lanes. Uh, George Washington Bridge is a very busy bridge. I've never had a clean pass through that. There is always traffic at George Washington Bridge. Do not recommend taking it if you don't like uh, uh, traffic. But it leads into a really nice road along the coast of Jersey that separates Jersey and New York. The Hudson separates, or I think it's Hudson, yeah. And it's really nice mountainous area there, and there's a really nice twisty roads. Again, it's part of the park that I uh, want to take you guys to. If you haven't been there, well, I haven't been there with a with a GoPro so it's gonna be fun to go there maybe we even go for a hike there's a nice hiking trail along the water that's uh, not too long I think it's like a mile and a half long one way so it's a three mile uh, a nice little three mile hike just playing along the water it's really cute we'll see that's all in the future I think that's all gonna be done in September that's my vacation is at and uh, well, sure, on my days off, I can I can probably facilitate some trips, but I think it would be much better if I just speed camera, if I just uh, take you guys on a vacation. That'd be really nice. I think I would feel much better doing it on vacation too. Now I've noticed that this camera eats batteries up like a chump. Like I, I think I can only get like 30 minutes of recording out. Uh, the video with uh, when I was describing Daisy and all her mods that I did for her was just a little bit of a fail because towards the end there when I was finishing up uh, Patrol Borough Staten Island, uh, Staten Island car is here? That's weird Didn't expect that car to be here It's a nice fancy new car though Oh, not like clouds in the sky but this is proverbial not a cloud in the sky type of day 
gonna be a nice day today. Um, this should be done by like four o'clock in the afternoon. I did not bring a, uh, well, I can charge this thing and uh, maybe have a ride back home with you guys. I have not decided yet. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be up to it after the test because that's gonna be a very grueling test and I don't think I'm gonna be in a good mood after after I take it to do a, to do a vlog. I'll be honest, I really shouldn't be doing this vlog now. I should be concentrating on what I remember, you know, going over all the scenarios in my head. But uh, I just I just need to relax. I've been non-stop studying for the past month and a half. For the past month, like hardcore studying. I just need to, at least before this thing, I need to like clear my mind, take a deep breath. There's there's a lot of pressure on this test by choice, not by force. You know, on the no, there's no. I, I don't have really a. Uh, it's not forced upon me to take this thing, but. Uh, the pressure is still there. I don't think it want me to go through the city yet. It still want me to follow the uh, the beautiful water road. We actually might pass Intrepid, um, a uh, an air carrier slash museum. It even has like a Blackbird on it and a U-boat right next to it. At least last time I was there. I haven't been there in uh, 15 years. I want to say. Definitely more than a decade. Definitely more than a decade. Well, I have a feeling it was like 15 years. I really want to visit it again. They remodeled it. They uh, they literally towed it away and remodeled it. And uh, I really want to see what they did with it. But I still see the Blackbird on its deck somewhere there in the pictures and brochures. And I know the U-boat U is like a uh, a staple there now. Oh. Lordy, 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 lordy. Um, oh, god. This is straight only. This is not a turn lane, but that guy's like, you know, screw the rules. I'll do what I want. Subaru! One of my good friends has a Subaru. Well, had a Subaru. A manual Subaru with a spoiler. And mud flaps, much like this car, actually. I wonder if it's the same model that he had. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not really a, a Subaru fanatic to know all the details about a Subaru. That looks like a cool car. I like this color. It sort of looks dulled gray. I like it. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. I'm cooking in this helmet. And this is like the Aries helmet. I have. Oh, look at those exhaust tips. That's like, oh, here's only one. Two into one? That's huge. And it's blue on the outside, too. I don't know if you guys can see it. Wow. Fancy guy. And it's always the guy with a spoiler who has the fancy exhaust. It doesn't sound too loud, though. I didn't hear him, like, go, uh, go hammer it. That's the all wheel drive. That's the I model. I don't think that's the model that my friend had. No, 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 it's not the model. It has a backup camera. It's really cute. This is a nice car, though. GTS. It's really cool. I don't know. Is it a Chrysler? I don't know. If, it's not a Chrysler. No. It's a, is it a Lamborghini? It's either a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. Oh, it's a Porsche. <laughs> well, shows you how much you know about cars. <laughs> I'm much better with bikes, I promise. I swear, I'm much better with bikes than cars. Oh, hello. That looks like an old, old uh, Sportster. Or FXR of some sort. Oh my God, we're gonna, we're gonna do the unthinkable. We're gonna do the skip. Like so. And then behind this Mazda. Right, that's a Mazda, it's a Mazda. Oh. Might have been wrong about how much time I'm gonna have. Oh. Still think I'm gonna have 40 minutes to spare. That's gonna be spent on looking for parking in this New York City. <laughs> oh, still doesn't want us to take the city center. Still want us to go uh, by the by the coast. I'll take it. I like this road. 
lots of red light cameras not too many speed cameras though oh made this one barely <laughs> it's a ferrari it's a lamborghini nope it's just a porsche either gt5 or gts i, I again not not sure about that But well, what do you know? I think the GoPro is overheating once again. And this heat is just killing these GoPros. I think I might have to run it without the um, uh, um, without the protective uh, without the protective skin. I don't know, guys. I don't know if this thing will last. But the heat is really, really, really getting to her. Oh, poor little GoPro. Oh gosh. Yeah guys, the GoPro is cooking. It is just cooking out of control. I don't think it's gonna last much longer in this heat. Oh look at that. What are you doing, bro? What uh Okay, that, that explains a lot. Alright. I think we're actually almost here at the Java Center. This might be it actually, so who knows. We're about uh, 15 minutes early. Oh look, I can park my bike with the rest of the people, right? Literally one minute away. Well, I had to make uh, a few rounds around. Uh, I saw a few bikes parked there. I'm gonna try to park next to those bikes, but this camera is overheating. So in case I don't get to say goodbye to you guys, might as well be it because uh, i'm at the location wish me luck hopefully the results will come in and i will get the result that i want and i get to do what i want to do with once this test is passed um the heat is unbearable i need to get out of here i need to go inside the building and uh gather my thoughts or meet up with some friends i don't know yet i don't know yet but yeah the camera is like i can i can literally feel it radiating heat coming through my front grill because i'm surprised my phone's not overheating usually my phone would been overheated too but the old one at least the new phone is um it's galaxy s20 5g plus 5gs some nonsense like that it's like a two-year-old model i got it for not dirt cheap but cheaper than usual and uh yeah this is not overheating so yay maybe i can use that as gps forever now and not bother with my little mount thing but i really don't want to bother with it because i built it and i made it and i think i deserve to have it <laughs> so uh yeah we're gonna pretty much this is the javits center i'm gonna go ahead and uh try to look for parking over here it uh for me shouldn't be too hard but who knows who knows Mm. Oh. maybe once i spot a really nice parking spot i'll let you guys go but we're minutes away from this we're about 45 minutes early 10 minutes for parking 35 minutes early you know the test won't start until an hour after i think and uh yeah we'll uh I'm nervous. I'm very, very nervous. Hopefully I'm nervous for no reason. I hope it's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy, but uh, I highly, highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. All right, let's go. Relax there, buddy. Let's see if I can squeeze in my bike somewhere. See another guy with a bike. Another guy with the bike. I don't want to squeeze in between the cars like this, but you know, it's only straight. I want to do a turn. We'll see if there's more spots around on the other side. You know, maybe there are. Maybe there are.
<laughs> the heat is ridiculous. Squeeze in a parking somewhere. Yep. Oh, maybe over there. Found myself a parking spot. Fish me luck. Bye bye. <laughs>